am bringing you another hot dog mixed media project. What the heck is a hot dog mixed media project? It is a four layer, four layer project. That's a project that is mixed media. So adding different layers, different mediums each time. This is the fourth one in a whole series I've been doing intermittently here on YouTube. These are the layers. Number one you have is your plate. As you can see in the reference, that's your substrate. What the heck are you working on? Number two, that's the main ingredient that holds all of the ing other ingredients, holds it all together. Number three is your hot dog. That's your secondary ingredient. And number four is your toppings, like ketchup, right? What is it? Is that a white paint pen? Is it, is it a Pentel pocket brush pen? Those are my probably top two toppings that I used to use. So I'm, I'm asking a whole bunch of artists. This, this I have a 32 page PDF and I'm on project number four. You can refer to the links in the comments section and in the description box and in the eye in the corner of the screen and in the end screen to catch all the other videos. But today's highlighted hot dog mixed medium project is inspired by the work of Sharon Holmberg, who is an amazing artist. She excels in colored pencils. I had the pleasure of interviewing her last year. She told me all about her process. So we are mimicking her process. We have her permission to do so. So her favorite plate is actually a Strathmore mixed media visual journal. I don't have one of those. So instead I'm using like kind of a rough card stock. Her bun, which is holding everything together, which is her main ingredient is always her colored pencils. After my interview with her, I actually ran out and picked up this set of luminance pencils by Karen Dash, which are her favorites. That was a year ago. This is my first time ever using them. Okay. And then her hot dog is that's the second biggest ingredient in this case is her watercolor background. And then the toppings, which I love so much are collage, collage elements. Okay. You put them all together. There she is. Sweet Sharon. She is adorable. And that should have her information and not mine. <laughs> I will update that on the PDF. Again, let me know. Actually, the PDF is actually available if you would like a copy. Um, this, and if you do, just let me know in the comment section below. So this is my girl. I've already drawn this. This is actually um, a free, these are actually faces I teach in my skin tone. Oh, I don't even have it with me. I just published a book called Skin Tone Secrets. And this is one of the characters that I demonstrate how to do light and shading on. Actually, let me show you that super fast. All right, so this is my Skin Tone Secrets book. This is where the, this girl comes from. I did all these illustrations, but actually in this book, there's a review on my other YouTube channel that talks about, it gives you a flip through and shows how to use it and all sorts of things. Um, but what I do use this for, um, even though the book is for alcohol markers, you can use it to indicate um, really common shadow, uh, shadow patterns on the face and then how to layer up your supplies, no matter what supplies you're using to create that effect. So long story short, I'm going to use my own book as suggested. There's a link in this book when you purchase it. Um, that leads to a, this free 25 page uh, download. This is so perfect because um, as always, the first thing you should do is actually swatch out your materials. Now I'm supposed to be doing little circles uh, when I go to shade her face, which I will promise to do. I know I want Sharon to be so proud of me. Um, however, I need to swatch really quickly so I know what the heck these look like. Oh, six, eight. So I'm going to just swatch these real quick. This comes with this swatching sheet. This is exactly what this swatch sheet is intended for. So it just, just gives me a sneak peek. There's nothing worse than going to do a project and then having like, surprise, the color doesn't look like you think it's gonna look. Now color pencils, pretty much what you see is what you get, but it is still nice to be able to see like a larger swatch area of it. So <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one uh, followed by a little bit of this one. Let me just check this one out. I'm not sure how dark this one goes. So 
So once I've swatched out my colors, I will begin my drawing. Oh, so let's see, like this, this, and this would be nice, or this, this, and this would work. There's different combinations here, but we could also go one, two, three. We got choices, so that's so nice. Um, I love this shading pattern, so I'm gonna mimic this one. And again, this is all, this is like a million different ways to shade, sort colors, do highlights, do hair, um, lots of good things in there. So I'm gonna start with my lightest color. So for my hot dog, we have uh, colored pencils is the main ingredient. Probably the watercolor is going to be the even more space around it, um, but you know this is this really is the main ingredient. So this is probably pretty tedious. So I'm going to time lapse this part so no one falls asleep while I am doing layers and layers and layers and layers of color pencil because that's really boring to watch. So uh, I'm going to time lapse this part and then I'll be back and we're going to paste it. We're going to adhere it to a piece of watercolor paper. Do the watercolor background. I have my collage flowers all picked out. Yeah, and we're gonna make this amazing mixed media hot dog Sharon Holmberg style. So let's go. I'm on layer three and I hate my life right now. My hand hurts. I don't like colored pencils. Like at all. Like, my hand literally hurts. I have like 16 layers to go. How does anyone do anything in colored pencils? Like, ah. Just, I just wanted to keep you up to speed of where I was emotionally during this project.
Okay, I did as many layers as I am willing to do, which I think was five. I'm good, I'm good. So now I know that um, I should do more, first of all, but I'm gonna not. Um, then Sharon uses, she likes the Chinese White by Derwent to burnish. So I'm gonna do that now. Again, time lapse, so boring. So, but when I'm done with that, um, that will be the end of the colored pencil part goodness then I'm gonna switch mediums just a little cheat just so I'm not here all day I have to make dinner for my family life needs to move forward my friend so I'm gonna burnish then I'm gonna move on then we'll adhere background collage boom awesome hot dog markers cuz cuz you know why not love markers so much um uh, what is that the darkest one normally give my girls lip color that matches their hair color but you know I'm feeling crazy so uh doing it yes I am doing it I feel like she needs to have earrings that are, you know, a cool color. I don't know what I'm doing with her hair right now. I'm just kind of having fun, to be honest. I'm like, whoo! Remember what it's like to, you know, take two seconds to do something? <laughs> I don't know why I um, just don't like when things take so long. But I just don't. I like, I guess I like the rush of, you know, completing, completing a project in a, a timely fashion. I have to say, as much as I did not enjoy the colored pencil part, it does give a dreamy, lightest color I don't even know uh, it does give a dreamy effect I'm not gonna lie it is very effective in producing like amazing skin tones Woo. so if you notice here I'm doing just a lot of like flicking because it helps create those, like, um, I don't know how to describe that. Oh, this is the lighter one. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Just being crazy and having fun. So, yeah, there's all sorts of tips and tricks about skin and hair, how to do hair in that new book. I'm very excited about it. I actually made it for my club members. And if you're watching this, you are a club member. Holla. And yeah, decided to put it up for sale so others could enjoy it. All right, all right. So we have these subtle little highlights now in her hair. So dreamy. Um, 
All right, awesome. So now, oh, I forgot to give her like a little eye color. We need a little, a little something. I'm just gonna pick a random, like bright. This is just a alcohol marker. There we go. Awesome. Here, we'll make her earrings the same. All right. She is looking so good. We'll give her a little bottom lip highlights. Be super, so realistic that she is. She doesn't look cartoony at all. Awesome. So now we are going to put her onto a watercolor page background and affix are awesome oh look how pretty she's going to be and affix our little last last details which are our flowers okay let's keep going our hot dog is coming together all right so i just ran outside and i sprayed this the back of it with this multi-purpose adhesive as you know i like to think i like everything in my world to happen instantaneously this gives me that power it's amazing and then as i'm gluing it which is crooked by the way um, I was like, why didn't I do the background first and then put her on top? Oh, I'm so dumb. That would have been so much smarter. But as I like to say, too late. <laughs> so now I'm doing the watercolor background. I do also know that Sharon likes to do uh, pan pastels on a background too, which I also would like to try. And she uses stencils with her pan pastels which is also genius. I've learned a lot from her. Um, this is hot pressed watercolor paper. Now I'm kind of wishing I had done cold press. So many things I would do differently, <laughs> but too late now. It's like my mantra, just whatever, just go with it. People, whoops, it's all good. This is Daniel Smith. What color is this? Ultramarine a turquoise, otherwise known as delicious. Ooh, let's throw some sap in there too. Why not? Kind of sap on the edges. And then we can morph to some ultramarine as we get closer to her. There's so many ways to do mixed media, and that's why I'm obsessed with this hot dog series because it's broadening my horizons immensely, helping me, encouraging me to try out new tricks, new supplies, and I hope you enjoy uh, learning these fun new things too as I dive in. I do feel like now I regret um, leaving her skin so soon because there's so much more. Uh, I love some like dramatic shading and I, because I, my hand was like cramping up from all the layers, I definitely uh, stopped <laughs> shorter than what I would have, what I like to do, which is like drama, crazy layers. But here is our awesome epic watercolor background. I also suck at backgrounds when I do my faces. I'm really not creative. So this is really fun to come up with, you know, a new mix of things. I know Sharon doesn't cut out her girls, but like, I just, I needed that paper to be what it was. All right, I'm going to dry this and then we're going to put the little collage on. Woohoo! Oh, if you could only see me in my studio, I'm blow drying my thing and I'm holding my finger like this in the center of the face. And then I blow all of my flowers onto the floor and then I lift up my finger and look at I can. Oh, oh, hi, big ass boo-boo. Oh my God, it's like the story of my life, I swear to God. All right, don't panic everyone, do not panic. We have choices. Number one, we can always try to lift with some water, which sometimes, I do know this color is super staining, so I don't think that's gonna work. That's Fine. So many white utensils we can use to cover that up. I'll do that at the end. So now we can kind of, first of all, I have to decide I can do another coat of, um, I can do another coat of watercolors around if we wanted to. Look how cute these are. This is just scrapbook paper that I had cut up. And I 
literally lost a whole bunch. I might have to go cut out some more or hunt around for, for the missing flowers. Oh, she can have some on either side. She's so cute. Except for the, you know, green splat on the middle of her nose. Not awesome. <gasps> That's adorable. All right, so for these, I'm going to use matte medium. I'm not going to disrespect her by like putting adherence things on her face. Um, I'm looking at, let's see, I'm trying to find my glue. Oh, there it is. Looking for my matte medium. I just use a foam brush to apply and then probably what I'll do to fix her nose is I have white gouache would probably work better than a paint pen. Sometimes the paint inside the white paint pens isn't quite uh, opaque enough. But luckily it's like right where a highlight should be. So we got pretty lucky there. But yeah, this is just matte medium, which of course, if you're a mixed media artist, you have this in your stash. Oh, that's great. Bending that in all sorts of crazy ways. Cute she is. Little flowers. Now see what I love about this whole hot dog compilation from all these other artists too, is that like this project would not be happening right now had it not been for these contributions. This project wouldn't even exist had I not had that conversation with Sharon Holmberg and had she not been so generous to share her secret process with the whole wide world. So thank you, Sharon. If you guys want that PDF packet, just let me know in the comments section. And if you want to, uh, get some hot tips on skin tones. If you enjoy markers, then the skin tone secret book you would probably also enjoy. Anyways, she's good enough. Um, all right, let's, I'm gonna have my favorite white, which I'm gonna use to cover up her boo-boo. I'll show you what it is in one sec. All right, how cute is she? So cute. That's what you're gonna say. All right, I have this. This is by Copic. This is like serious white. I think it might be drying out. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, my murder cat just walked in to be. So yeah, luckily that's in a place where it's okay to have a highlight because otherwise that would be, oh, Tippy, not now, girlfriend. Just give me a second. I'm almost done. And then we can kind of put like a little, like a that actually is fine when we can add a little highlight to her chin and as well while we're here. And then yeah, her little eye, maybe we can accentuate her eye shine. Don't mind the cat, but oh, oh yeah. We just need to make these match. Whatever we do on the right, we need to have on the left. Oh, hi Tippy. There's literally a cat in my face. Okay, okay, hi, that's like really close. You're sitting on my project, which is not big by the way. If you guys haven't met Tippy yet, she's my cat and she attacks me while I do art projects, yes. So as I was saying, Tippy, as you rudely sat in my face, we can add some highlights to like her bottom lip as well. And yeah, we did her little eyes. We can add even some to like her hair if we want. This is very thick paint and there's a cat right here. So it's very difficult, Miss Tippy McGee. But we can add some highlights to her hair if we want. Um, it's much easier if you don't have a cat in your face. 
But anywho, there's things that you can do with your highlights. If you have a little boo-boo like that, then my point was you can add white highlights in different places and then it kind of pulls it all together. So uh, that's tippy. This is my hot dog project care of Sharon Holmberg and my first and last ever foray into colored pencil portraits. And I was such a baby with the shading because then my hand was falling off. So I absolutely love this project so much. It's adorable. All right, guys, thanks for hanging. And I'll be back soon with another hot dog and some more product reviews and all sorts of other fun things coming up. And of course, tippy attacks, right tips? Absolutely. Tippy, what are you doing? Do you like to attack? Are you gonna attack me? Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Can we do a boop? Boop. What? <laughs> oh, here comes Maggie. Maggie. Hi. Oh, hi, Maggie. Hello. How are you doing? Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? What are you purring about? What are you purring about? All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.